Welcome to the semifinals. Four teams from Spokane High Schools proved they know their civics and now will fight to earn a spot in the Civics Bowl Championship. This is the first of two semifinal matches. Who will advance? Civics Bowl is made possible by Eastern Washington University, the Avista Foundation, the League of Women Voters of the Spokane area, and of Washington, and by viewers like you. Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Gary Stokes. If you're just joining us for this inaugural season of Civics Bowl, you chose a good time. It's the semifinals. Here's a look at the bracket. Four teams have advanced to the semifinals. Today we're going to see a regional matchup between North Central and the Community School. Next week it'll be Ferris and Lewis and Clark seeking a spot in the championships. Welcome to our teams and let's meet the players from North Central. Hi, I'm Bryce. Hi, I'm Jonah. I'm Sydney. And hi, I'm Jacob. And our friends from the Community School. Hi, I'm Aster. I'm Hudson. I'm David. I'm Sierra. Thank you all. In the audience, NC's alternate is Harrison, and their coach is John Knight. And Community School's alternate is Davis, and they're coached by David Egley and Chelsea Duvall. The rounds of play are the same as during the first round. We will start play with the toss-up round. All players are eligible to buzz in and answer the toss-up question. After correctly answering a toss-up question, the winning team will receive a related bonus question. You can collaborate during the bonus question. All correct answers in this round are worth 10 points. For all questions, you must wait until I've finished reading the question to buzz in. Ready, players? All right, let's begin. The type of democracy where citizens elect government officials to make and carry out laws is called what? Jonah. Representative democracy. Correct. And here's your bonus. Which statement best describes how a republic differs from a democracy? The majority rules without consideration of the needs of the minority. The government is expected to protect the rights of the minority against the tyranny of the majority. Both A and B, neither A and B. B. B is correct, and now a toss-up for both teams. America's founders chose to form a republic. What historical example did they draw on for this type of government? Sydney. Parliament? No. Toss over to community school. France. Ancient Rome. Ancient Rome. All right, next toss up. Presidential nominees are determined in each state in one of two ways. What are the two options? Bryce. Caucus and primary. Correct. And here's your bonus. Who decides what presidential nominee process will be used in each state? We need an answer? Uh, the state legislature. No. It's each state's political party which seeks to nominate a candidate. Okay, here's your next toss up. Which type of ballot issue allows citizens, through the petition process, to place a policy measure on the ballot to change a law? Jonah. Referendum. Incorrect. Community school. Advisory vote. Initiative, initiative. Okay, next toss up. Name the bill passed in the US House last August, but blocked in the Senate in November which would restore the requirement of federal review before any new voting laws could take effect. Jonah. The Voting Rights Act? Yes, correct. The John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. And here is your bonus. The bill is named for late U.S. representative and voting rights activist John Lewis. Which state did he represent for more than 30 years? Alabama. Georgia, Georgia. All right, here's your toss up, and it is a guest video. Please take a look at the monitor. Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Swinyard, the superintendent of Spokane Public Schools. Here's your question What is public policy? David. It is a policy put in place by the people, by the consent of the people, by elected representatives. 
Nope. Passover. Jonah? Uh, it is the rules passed by the legislature. Laws that affect everyone. Laws that affect everyone. Here's a toss up for both teams. Name the governmental body that makes policy decisions at the national level. Bryce. Congress. Correct. And here's your bonus. Name the governmental body that makes policy decisions in the city of Spokane. City Council. Correct. Toss up, both teams. How many counties are there in Washington State? Jonah. 49. Incorrect. Community school. Aster. 39. 39 is correct. And here's the bonus. Look at the map on your screen. Which four counties border Spokane County? Meet and answer. Lincoln, Grant, and Adams. Incorrect. Pondere, Stevens, Lincoln, and Whitman. Here's your next toss up. Interest groups are one of the links between people and government. What is the main goal of interest groups? Aster. An interest group serves to like push a certain candidate. Judges say yes. Okay, here's your bonus. Name one category or type of interest group. Uh, for drinking age? No, the, the categories are economic, public interest, single issue groups, ideological. Okay, here's your next toss up. What must happen for a bill that has passed both houses of Congress to become law? David. Signed by the president. Correct, here's your bonus. What happens if the president does not sign or veto a bill within 10 days except Sundays while Congress is in session? It automatically becomes a bill. Yes, you are correct. All right, here's your next toss up. Each Congress lasts two years and generally has how many sessions? Jacob. Two. Correct. And here's your bonus. A new Congress begins at noon on the date of each odd numbered year following a general election. Is this a true or false? At this date. January 3rd. January 3rd is correct. Here is the toss up. Each year Congress recesses during which month? David. August. Correct. Here is your bonus. Congressional recesses are a chance for lawmakers to vacation and spend time with family. Which other job requirement, which some senators and representatives take more seriously than others, are members of Congress expected to fulfill during these recesses? Briefings? Classified briefing. <laughs> no. It's a, Meet with constituents in their home states. All right, here's your next toss up. Shown here, who is Washington State's current Secretary of State? Steve Hobbs, Steve Hobbs. Okay, here's your next toss up. Here's another video question. Watch your monitors. Hi, I'm a Spokane City Council member, Betsy Wilkerson. I represent District 2, which serves Central Spokane and the South Hill. Here's your question. A clause in the Fifth Amendment protects a person from having to self-incriminate or admit to one's own guilt. In 1965, a Supreme Court case led to the requirement that arrestees be read their what? Miranda writes. Correct. And here is your last question and the last question for this round, and here's your bonus. The same Fifth Amendment clause is used by individuals who do not wish to answer government questions when they say what? I have the right to remain silent. Yes, you are correct. Great job, teams. The toss-up round is over, and we're coming up on my personal favorite, the all-important head-to-head match. But first, we're going to take a moment to get to know our players. And we'll start with our friends from North Central. What are your favorite extracurricular activities or hobbies? Bryce. Uh, I enjoy playing soccer and listening to music. Jonah. Uh, I run varsity track and cross country. And I've also been a part of Zach Sapone's two campaigns in the past three years. Sydney. 
I have a black belt in Taekwondo. Jacob. I, I've been a part of the North Central Orchestra and I just joined tennis this year. Aster. I like to crochet. I That's like it. musical theater. Okay, David. I like baseball, I like watching it, I like umpiring, I like coaching. And Sierra? Uh, creative writing. <laughs> nice. It's always nice to get to know a little bit more about our contestants and our combatants today. Thanks, teams. We'll be back for the head-to-head -head round right after the answer to last week's question of the week. In 1859, the Washington Territorial Legislature changed Washington's capital to which city? The correct answer is B, Vancouver. The legislature rescinded the act the following year, making Olympia the capital once again. However, the location continued to be controversial. In 1889, voters were asked to approve a permanent location of the state capital. Among the contenders were Vancouver, Olympia, Ellensburg, and North Yakima. When the votes were counted, Olympia won, but the combined vote of North Yakima and Ellensburg would have exceeded Olympia's. As you can see, we've moved to the head-to-head -head set. I have a scoring update after a correction from our judges. It's now North Central 90, Community School 50. Now in this round, each team member will go up against a member of the opposing team one-on-one. -on -one. Questions in this round are worth 10 points. And again, you must wait for me to finish reading the question to buzz in. Are we ready? Let's begin. Name two Indian tribes that reside east of the Cascades Mountains in Washington. Name two. The Spokane and the Yomac? Nope. That would be the Spokane, the Kalispell, Colville, and the Yakima. Okay, English philosopher Thomas Hobbes said human life was defined by the survival of the fittest and a war of every man against every man. What did he call this situation? State of nature. Correct. True or false, in 1901, when Cuba established its first constitution, one of the clauses stated that the United States would not intervene in Cuba's affairs. True. False. Head to head again, which elected county position makes sure people pay their property taxes? You have a choice, A, treasurer, B, assessor, C, clerk, D, auditor. D, auditor. It, incorrect, it's A, treasurer. Head to head, you are a white man without property living in Massachusetts in 1776. Can you vote? No. You are correct, only white men who are 21 years of age and older. Head to head again, according to the Declaration of Independence, why do governments exist? To protect the will of the people. To secure unalienable rights of the people. When and where are the final electoral votes in a presidential election officially counted? The Senate. Incorrect, on January 6th of the year following the general election. And your final head to head. Briefly describe double jeopardy, which the Fifth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution prohibits. You cannot be tried for the same crime twice in a criminal case once you've been found not guilty. Correct. Nice job, everybody. Teams, you can head back to your sides. And the category round is coming up next. You won't want to miss it. KSPS Public Television would like to thank the League of Women Voters of the Spokane area for its participation and leadership in the inaugural season of Civics Bowl. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages the informed and active participation of citizens in government. Over time, the League's work has evolved from efforts to gain and foster women's suffrage to ensuring that all eligible voters have the opportunity and the information to exercise their right to vote. If you are interested in making a difference with education and advocacy, join the League. Learn more about the Washington League and the Spokane League by visiting the links on your screen. Welcome back. The score right now is NC90 and the Community School 80. So let's get back to gameplay with the category round. You have six categories to choose from, each with five questions, which increase in point value from 10 to 30. Here are your categories. The British are coming, executive power, tribal sovereignty, grab some popcorn, 
Path to Citizenship, and Pick Your Candidate. Teams will alternate turns. You can skip around to different categories. However, you cannot jump ahead in point value. Points are deducted for wrong answers in this round. If a team gets a question wrong, the other team has the opportunity to answer or pass. You can pass on a question with no penalty or toss a question to the other team. If you are tossed a question, you must answer and will either win or lose the associated point. Now, this is where some strategy comes into play. Now, the team with the lowest score gets to pick first, and that will be our friends at the community school. We are going to do executive power. Executive power it is for 10 points. Name three of the presidential roles or powers granted to the president in the U.S. Constitution. Answer, please. Pass. All right, so we've passed, and now it's over to NC for the next question. Let's do path to citizenship. Path to citizenship for 10 points. The first law passed by Congress regarding naturalization allowed free white persons exhibiting good moral character and who had been living in the United States for two years to be granted citizenship upon swearing allegiance to the Constitution. Name the law and the year. Pass. Okay. They pass. All right, so now let's move over to the community school for the next question. The British are coming. The British are coming for 10 points. Here's Superintendent Adam Swinyard with your video question. What bit of intelligence uncovered by the American colonists led to Paul Revere's famous ride? British were going to conquer to destroy weapons. Correct. Okay, NC. Pick your candidate for 10. Pick your candidate for 10 points. What is the purpose of a primary election? Uh, to choose the party's nominee. Correct. Community school. Pick your candidate. Pick your candidate for 15. What happens if a clear winner does not emerge with a majority of the votes in a primary? A runoff election? You are correct. Okay, back to North Central. Pick your candidate. Pick your candidate for 20. What type of primary allows voters to vote in all parties' primary elections on one ballot? Blanket primary. Correct. It's community school. The British are coming. The British are coming for 15. Who was the other American sent out to alert the colonists of the British plan and gather colonial militia forces? William Dawes. Correct. The British are coming. The British are coming for 20. What were the Americans who rose up that day in April of 1775 called? The Minutemen. Correct. Community school, over to you. Pick your candidate. Pick your candidate for 25. What is the oldest form of selecting or nominating a candidate for the general election? Pass. Okay, the answer is caucus, caucus. Pick your candidate. Pick your candidate for 30, wrapping up this category. Briefly describe how a caucus works. Uh, party members meet in person to select the candidates that they like to run for their party, that they want their party to nominate. That is correct. Thank you. And now, over to the community school. The British are coming. The British are coming for 25 points. Where did the first clash between the Minutemen and the British troops occur? Lexington. Correct. The British are coming. The British are coming to wrap up this category. And it is a multiple choice question. How did the battle proceed from there? Several Americans were killed in Lexington. The British destroyed some of the colonists' ammunition. The British retreated to Boston 
D, all of the above. Can you show the question again? Disappear. Uh, D, all of the above. D, all of the above is correct. And that wraps up that category. Executive power. Executive power for 15 points. As the chief legislator, what three powers are granted to the president? The right to veto bills, sign treaties, and enforce the law. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. North Central can steal? Yeah. Uh, veto, sign, and executive agreements. Those are three different answers. No, that's basically one power. That's one power. There are two more. But the it's sign, veto, or pocket veto. Give the State of the Union address. Call special sessions of Congress. NC. Executive power, please. Executive power for 20. President Franklin D. Roosevelt issued executive orders for national bank holidays, bank loans, public works projects, and public assistance programs as part of what program? The New Deal. Correct. Community school, you're up. Executive power. Executive power for 25. If the president creates an executive order and Congress does not agree with the executive order, how can lawmakers change it? Answer. Um, they can amend it with a supermajority vote. Looking to the judges for confirmation. Judges? All right, so you have a chance to steal. Uh, they would pass a bill editing or changing the president's jurisdiction. That is correct. Okay, NC, and we are on our last question. Uh, executive power for 30. Executive power for 30. Other than Congress passing a bill to change it, how else can an executive order be changed? Uh, the Supreme Court can, can declare it unconstitutional, or the next president can uh, take back the executive agreement. That is correct. And that wraps up this round. And at the end of this section is North Central 260, Community School 105. And we will be back for the lightning round right after this. Longtime tribal rights activist Lucy Covington helped change the course of American Indian history by leading the efforts to end termination, a federal policy designed to seize control of land and natural resources from tribal ownership by terminating tribal status. What tribe was Covington a member of? A. Colville. B. Cherokee. C. Blackfeet. D. Yakima. Do you know the answer? Follow the QR code on your screen or go to ksps.org slash civicsbowl to submit your answer and be entered into a drawing to win a prize. The deadline to enter is Monday at noon. And please, you're on the honor system here. No Googling. We will contact the winner directly and let you all know the right answer next week on Civics Bowl. We have a scoring update before we move ahead. On the question in the category round about how Congress can change a president's executive order, the judges have decided to accept Community School's answer of a supermajority vote. The score is now North Central 260 and Community School 155. We're going to put 90 seconds on the clock. Teams, this is your chance to run up the score by answering as many questions as you can in that time limit. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. Points will be deducted for wrong answers. Teams. Are you ready? Here we go. Start the clock. The Tenth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution reserves powers not delegated to the government of the United States to whom? Sierra. The states. Correct. Which English philosopher wrote, there is no greater tyranny than that which is perpetuated under the shield of the law and in the name of justice? Jacob. John Locke. Correct. Powers shared by the federal and state governments are known as what? Hey, Sierra. Concurrent. Correct. According to the U.S. Constitution, which branch of the government is most important? Aster. 
the legislative branch. Correct. True or false, the original Constitution put a limit on the number of terms that a president could serve. Sierra. False. Correct. With ratification of the U.S. Constitution, Congress was given the authority to set what in the Supreme Court? Jacob. The number of justices. Correct. What is it called when a justice agrees with the majority of the Supreme Court judges but wants to cite different reasons for that agreement? Jacob. A dissenting opinion is not the right answer. Concurring opinion. True or false, Washington State Governor Jay Inslee is currently the longest serving governor in the U.S. Jonah. False. It is true. There are two kinds of court cases, civil and criminal. Which of these concerns a dispute between two people? Jacob. Civil. Correct. Much like the president serves as the head of the executive branch at the federal level, who heads the executive branch in Spokane? David. The mayor. Correct. The idea of self-government, and that wraps it up. The, we are at the end of the match. Well done, everyone. Congratulations, North Central. You will advance to the championship match with a score of 280 to 255. <laughs> Community School, you did great. We hope you all had fun. All right, so what this does now, we're getting our brackets set. North Central, you'll play the winner of next week's semifinal matchup, either Ferris or Lewis and Clark. And you can watch that semifinal matchup right here on KSPS at 7 o'clock next Monday night. You can also watch online at ksps.org slash civics bowl. And if you're a regional school interested in taking part in civics bowl next year, we want to know. Go to ksps.org civics bowl and fill out our online contact form. Thanks so much for joining us for Civics Bowl. We hope to see you again next week. Thanks to our teams. Thanks to our coaches. This has been great. Thank you all. See you all next week. The Civics Bowl is made possible by Eastern Washington University, the Avista Foundation, the League of Women Voters of the Spokane area, and of Washington, and by viewers like you. If you are a regional school interested in taking part in Civics Bowl next year, we want to know. Go to ksps.org slash civicsbowl to fill out our online contact form.